Did you feel funny at all about using puffy paint in serious <laughs> sculpture after you'd been trained in a certain way in academia? It actually felt really good. I felt like I was rebelling and doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing. And um, yeah, so it didn't feel funny necessarily. <laughs> it felt good. It felt good? Yeah. Yeah, it's easy. It's really, it was, it was really great. To, like I would buy the, I go to the craft store and I just find things that I, that look appealing or look like they would be fun to work with. Mm -hmm. And I don't usually have a specific idea in mind when I'm there. I just get the stuff and then I have it around my studio maybe for like a couple of years even before I end up actually using it in a piece. And it sounds like you spend a lot of time working on these sculptures. They take maybe sometimes years to really fully mature. Is that right? Um, I don't think I've ever spent a year on a sculpture, but they take a long time. Mm -hmm. I spend um, a lot of hours in the studio, and I also have assistants help me, so um, usually a sculpture takes about two months to make, but that's, yeah, that's like, 10 to 12 hours every single day, maybe a day off here and there, and some help. 